What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the camera shake or screen shake effect, which should look something like this. You probably all think I'm weird now, I am weird. <laughs> okay guys, so jumping on the computer here, I'm first going to import the media. So here I've just got the video here. Now there is actually a couple ways I do this. I will be showing you both ways in this tutorial, they're both pretty much the same except one kind of rotates the screen and the other one just moves around a bit. You'll see what I mean when we get to it but this is super simple and it'll be super quick to do. Right so looking at the start of the video here, <coughs> you can see obviously there's some that I need to cut off. What is going on everybody? Alright so that's where the start of the video is, I'm going to cut it there move the video to the beginning if you don't know the basics on how to edit then i have a video of that on my channel it's vegas pro 15 but it will still work for this so there's the, the intro there i'm gonna cut it there and then see what in this, this is. tutorial i'm gonna so yeah this is where i continue speaking i'm gonna cut it here in this tutorial i'm gonna in this tutorial you can see that was a bit of a mistake there so i'm gonna cut it here as well tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do the camera shake or screen shake effect which should look something like this <laughs> right so you haven't actually seen the video without the shake yet so that must have looked great to use but this is the portion where i want the screen shake to happen so i'm just going to cut at the beginning and at the end of where i'm screaming because that's where i want it to happen of course and then clicking on this clip, I'm going to click on the event pan and crop in the corner. You may have used this before, this is basically just so you can crop it. As you can see, if I do this, it'll zoom in. If I scale it up, it'll zoom out. So we're going to kind of want to change the keyframes here and animate it a bit so it looks like the screen shaking. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I start doing anything is I'm going to click on this little lock here. It's the sync cursor button. If you click on that, it'll move the cursor on here to where it is on the actual timeline. I'm also then going to move it to the beginning of the track here, and as you can see, it has followed on both clips. If you don't know what a keyframe is, by the way, it's basically a specific point of the video where something is going to occur. So on this keyframe, I'm going to shrink down the crop a bit here, just to give us a bit more room to work with. And then I'm going to click in this circle, but not within the square, and just rotate the screen to the right a bit. So that is actually the first keyframe done. Now clicking on the keyframe marker down here, making sure it's still at the beginning, I'm going to click the right arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. So that's just moved us four keyframes ahead. Click this create keyframe button here. You can see that it does create the keyframe. And then we're going to rotate the screen the opposite way. So now if we go back to the beginning, you can see that it's rotated that way. If we go ahead a bit, it's rotated that way. Now I'm going to zoom in here on the timeline, the keyframe timeline. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on both keyframes. So I can see they're both selected when it's got the dot in the middle. I'm going to press control C to copy the keyframes. And then this is where I can get to pasting. This can be a bit tedious, but it pretty much has to be done. So I'm going to click on the keyframe here, the second one, which is currently the last one I have made. And I'm going to go four keyframes ahead. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to use Control V to paste it. And then you pretty much repeat this process. So I'm going to go four ahead. One, two, three, four. And you can see that we're actually on this one now. So we need to go another four. One, two, three, four. And then paste again. And then I'm going to repeat the process. So one, two, three, four. Still need to go four more. One, two, three, four. So that's eight in total. So I just know I have to press eight times now between each paste. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Paste. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, paste, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, take your time with this bit, you don't want to mess up the keyframes, once you get going a bit, you can be a bit quicker, and also if you want to select more keyframes, you can, if you click on the end keyframe, hold shift, click on the first keyframe, it'll select them all, you can then press ctrl c there, and then do another four keyframes ahead, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then when you paste this time, it's going to paste a huge amount. So I'm just going to click on the end keyframe here, go four ahead, and then paste it again. And that just finishes off the clip. We can see we've got a large bundle of keyframes at the end here. I'm just going to click delete on that because it's not really needed now. Now if I click at the beginning of the video here, and I hit space to play the video. You can see it does shake. 
Now, I initially said four keyframes, but I don't quite like that. I think it should be a bit of a shorter time. I am going to change it to three keyframes. This does mean I'm going to have to redo all the keyframes, but I'll just do it quickly to show you. So I'm just going to delete all of these. I'm going to move this keyframe one back. Select these, and then do that process again. This time it's three keyframes between each, though. Let's paste one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Now I'm going to select a bunch of them again, go free ahead, and click on the end one, I'll go free ahead, then click on the end one, free ahead, click on the end one, free ahead, just repeat the process until you've pretty much got to the end, then I'm going to delete that end one. Now if we play, <laughs> we can see that is a little bit better. Now I'm going to show the second way of doing this. I'm just going to copy this bit where I want the screen to shake for now and paste it here just so I can show you the other method. So I'm going to click on the pan and crop again. I'm going to delete all the keyframes. Now we go starting at the beginning again this time. I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to restore just to make sure it's back in its normal position. And then instead of rotating, this time I'm just going to shrink the frame a little bit. And I'm going to move it to a random position on the screen. And now we're going to do three keyframes again. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to move it somewhere else randomly on screen. As long as I haven't moved it off so you don't see any blackness, I'm just going to make sure it's on the screen somewhere and do a random location each time. So, one, two, three. Move it, like, here, let's say. One, two, three. Here, let's say. One, two, three. Here, let's say. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then once you've got a good little bunch of them, you can then just select all of them by holding shift again and then clicking on the first one and the last one. <laughs> Control C. And then it's just the same repeating process of going free from your last one or however many keyframes the gap is and pasting it. So we're just going to do this all the way through. The more keyframes you add before you start pasting them, the more random it'll be because of course then the values aren't repeating. Now if we close this, now if we delete the last keyframe here, close it, and then hit play. <laughs> you can see that's another screen shake effect. I actually prefer the second one a lot more than the first one, so that's probably the one you're going to see at the beginning of the video. But yeah, that's going to be it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Remember to like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to check out my main channel, the link is on screen and in the description below. Recommend any tutorials you want to see in the comments below and I will see you next time guys. Bye.